Chapter 1 Supervisor Wang Shirwen You are listening at FameTV.info. My name is Chin Bin. I interned in a private company just to get an internship to prove that I was doing a good job and that I was not tired of doing a good job, so I suddenly changed my supervisor and called me like a dog, the new supervisor's name was Wang Shirwen, and he was exceptionally beautiful. He had long legs, Xiao Man waist, willow leaves, eyebrows, and a ladylike appearance. But that was ruthless. He didn't even treat our interns as human beings. A cleaner was better than us, but to tell the truth, Wang Shirwen is really seductive, and we all said that it was worth it to make Wang Shirwen a ghost for a while, but I never thought that such an opportunity would really hit me on the head that day, it was already off work, but my phone was left in the company, so I went back to get it. It was dark inside the company. I felt the darkness and finally found my phone. But just as I was about to leave, I found Wang Shirwen's office door was still open and there was light in a crack that I thought it was Wang Shirwen who forgot to turn off the lights and lock the door when he left from work. I was going to turn it off, but when I walked to the door, I suddenly heard a series of loud belly bumps and a woman's soft voice coming from the office that I was startled and quickly leaned over the crack of the door to look at it. I immediately saw a picture that made my blood boil. Wang Shirwen was actually doing that shameful thing with our company manager, Wu Desheng, and Wang Shirwen was acting so coquettishly at the moment. He looked like a different person from his usual serious appearance, just like a little female cat. I cursed a bitch, then I felt that it was a good opportunity, so I quickly used my phone to take a picture of this scene, ready to keep threatening Wang Shirwen, save Wang Shirwen from pressing me down as the supervisor, let me do this and that, after the shoot, I was ready to leave, but in a moment of complacency, I bumped into a vase on a table, which fell to the ground and broke into pieces. As the vase fell, Wang Shirwen's office suddenly screamed, and Wang Shirwen screamed out who was who. I was about to pee. I couldn't afford to offend either of them. Either of them had the ability to fire me, fortunately, there was a stray cat in the company at this juncture. The sound of the cat calling made Wang Shirwen and manager Chi Dishing think it was the cat that did it and saved my life. I quickly hid under a table, because Wang Shirwen and Wu Dishing seemed to be finished, Wu Dishing lifted his pants and left with satisfaction. He said something about the baby coming back next time, which made Wang Shirwen angry, after Wu Dishing left, while Wang Shirwen was wiping her body, I ran away as well. When I returned to the apartment I rented, I looked like a dick and felt good after several times thinking that it would be safe in the future, if Wang Shirwen dared to make a fuss again, I would take it out and show it to her that I thought it would take a long time to use this video, but I didn't expect it to only be used the next day. Wang Shirwen dog couldn't change his shit and asked me to sweep and mop the floor. The worst thing was that he wanted me to go shopping for her. I end this company, you can't go out until noon break, or you will be fined. I tried to shut her up according to the company rules. In the end, Wang Shirwen didn't buy it and asked me with a sneer if I didn't want to do it that I was so angry that if it was the past, I would admit defeat. The internship proved that it was important, but this time, I was afraid of Wang Shirwen because I pinched her. I just sneered at her and said no, she said that I could leave, and I still looked at her with a sneer. When I was sure there was no one, I pulled out the video from my phone and showed it to her, Wang Shirwen immediately changed color and was about to come over to grab the phone, but where could she get it? I just put it away, Wang Shirwen asked me what I wanted. I told her I hadn't thought it through, but I told her to stop whining, Wang Shirwen had no choice but to promise me with an ugly face, but he told me not to say anything, otherwise it would definitely make me look good. I agreed, after that, I walked out of Wang Shirwen's office with some pride. The interns at the same time all looked at me in surprise because they thought I would be taught a lesson by Wang Shirwen, but when they saw how I looked, they couldn't help but wonder what was going on. Of course, I wouldn't tell them such an important thing, just that it was okay, seeing that they could not ask anything, they went to work. Jingling. At this moment, my phone suddenly rang. I took it out and saw that it was my girlfriend Fang Kuz. I was overjoyed that Fang Ku was the girl I had finally caught up with. She was beautiful and had nothing to say. 
Unfortunately, nothing had happened yet, so I was looking for an opportunity. I answered Fong Ku's phone, and Fong Ku's soft voice rang in my ears. But just when I thought Fong Ku was really asking me how my work was going, reality poured cold water on me. Fong Ku was going to break up with me that I asked her why, and she said I didn't have a car or a house or a good job. My internship in this place was not as good as what a small factory could do in the future. She didn't want to suffer with me in the future, after that, Fong Ku hung up without even giving me a chance to explain. I made several calls, but I didn't answer them. So I went back to school to find her despite the company's rules and asked her roommate before I realized that Fong Ku didn't come back last night. For a moment, I felt as if I had collapsed and had a bad guess in my heart. I forced myself to smile with Fong Ku's roommate and left. As soon as I left school, I saw Fong Ku flirting with a man. I angrily rushed up to him and beat him up, then questioned Fong Ku, but Fong Ku didn't care at all. What if I sarcastically said it was so? I've been with you for so long that I didn't even dare touch me, trash, Fong Ku left, but Fong Ku's words seemed to be a thorn in my heart. I didn't touch her because I didn't want to let her suffer with me when I was powerless. But now that I hear Fong Ku say that, I feel like a fool. My heart was full of grievances. All of a sudden, I thought of Wang Sherwen in my mind. I thought of Wang Sherwen's coquettish look. I gritted my teeth and called Wang Sherwen. I want you to come out and check in with me. Otherwise, I will know all about the companies that distribute your and Wu Dishing's videos. I told Wang Sherwen in an unquestionable tone that Wang Sherwen was angry at me for being shameless at first, but in the end he gave in and agreed in a somewhat dejected tone, asking me where my address was, after I paid to book a room, I sent the address. Not long after, Wang Sherwen came. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.